handful of videos out there on switching out an igniter on a master temp Pentair 400. Not going to try and recover what they have there, but I wanted to show you two things. Um, first of all, this is how they come packed. This is what we just picked up, and it says handle with care. I'm going to be real honest with you. True words were never spoken. I would show you what the old igniter ohmed out at, but I dropped it while pulling it out and shattered it into that many pieces. And when I say I dropped it, I dropped it about a foot. They are ceramic. They are super, super delicate. But here is how these come packed. And very, you can check while you pick it up that it's still intact. That's what they should look like. The other one had some oxidation on there, but I'm not even gonna remove this from this packaging. The, there is a new gasket that comes with it as well. Taking my own meter, I'm going to put one in here, I have to be one-handed, and then take the other one and ohm the top here, and you'll see it's coming in at 73.6 ohms. So I've got it on the ohm setting, 73.6. The other one that I had was 118. So this was actually still intact, which a lot of times will have a crack in there and you'll have an open circuit. This one was still intact when I pulled it out, but the resistance was too high and so it wasn't getting hot enough while it, was, it wasn't heating up enough before it would shut off. So we're gonna throw this guy in there and really simple to do, it goes in that bracket there, you put a new gasket around it, you put the two bolts into it, two nuts I should say, right down in that hole right there. You can see it down below. I can even show you that guy right there. So you gotta be real careful, like I said, because that is super delicate, super fragile. But I'll show you a picture of it as we go to put the piece in that metal bracket and then a, an installed piece and then testing it. I should note that the ohms resistance, resistance should be between 40 and 80 ohms at room temperature. And I just took this out of my house. It's cool in the pool house, but I just took it out of the house and it was at 73. This is what this assembly looks like in this housing. And I'm being super careful here to, this honestly scared me a little bit because this is so fragile. Um, holding on to it, pinching it with my fingers here. Got the new connector in there, just a quick connect, only goes in one way. New gasket on there, and then it just sits in that housing and you very delicately drop it in there and then put those two nuts on the back side of it. So let's go ahead and put this in. I am going to use both hands for this. So it it's really simple how it goes in, uh, but I'll show you a finished picture of what it looks like. Now, <clears throat> they don't tell you to do this in the install instructions, but to make sure that I didn't crack it installing it. You can see it's installed below that red probe down there. I went ahead and ohmed it out again to make sure that I didn't damage it. And I'm sitting at 75 ohms. 73 before, it's a little colder. It took me 10 minutes to put it in. But it's still ohming correctly. We didn't crack it. It's not an open circuit. So I think we're good. I'm going to put the top cover on it and we'll do a test cycle of it to see that it's running. Clearly a little louder now that I got the pump running. The service heater light is off. It's heating the pipe and it's hot to the touch. I'm not gonna, yeah. Obviously there's steam rolling off of it. We got a little condensation on our burner. We're gonna keep an eye on that and make sure we don't have a uh, cracked heat exchanger. I don't think we do. There's not water or anything else coming out of the bottom of it, but uh, I'll keep an eye on that steam coming out of it. It looks like it's been coming for a bit. It might just be cold weather operation, but uh, everything's running and doing its thing. Five-year-old unit, all got at 73 with the new one. The old one was 118, I think, 109, 118. But uh, yeah, rock and rolling. And this was the part number. A 
Pantera Stay Right 77707 0054. It's the same one for your 250, 300, 325, 400, but uh, cost me $82 at my local supplier here. You can find them cheaper online as well. Thanks for watching.